that I should say But I am done Yeah, I'm done Hey friends, welcome to my brand new cozy fall decorating with me for this year of 2023 part 1. I'm going to decorate our kitchen for fall in this video and I'll be sharing you my beef stew recipe which I feel like the most suited cozy food to eat around this season. We are still in the 100 degrees weather here in Las Vegas but I just can't wait to decorate for fall and change our decor and also maybe I can convince the weather here to change by decorating for fall. I hope you enjoy this video and get some decorating ideas to use in your own home for this fall season. I feel like one of the best ways to get into that cozy fall vibes mood is by drinking pumpkin flavor coffee. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm making my pumpkin spice caramel macchiato, one of my favorites you guys. <laughs> much all of the fall decorations that I have most of these I pick up last year um, some of the items that has tag I pick up like around Christmas time which is like after fall because so I got a really good deal with those and then I only pick up a few items this year um, I love this pumpkin so much um, I got like small pumpkins here some signs like medium-sized pumpkins uh, all the floral some garlands here um pre-made floral arrangements right there and then i have a few more small pumpkins right here this is pretty much everything that i have i'm going to be decorating the kitchen and the family room and hopefully the bedroom as well i did not decorate our bedroom last year but hopefully i'll have enough to decorate the bedroom so this is everything and let's start this Here's an overview of how the kitchen looks like before I decorated for fall. I already cleaned our home before I decorated for fall. That's what I usually do. I don't like to do any heavy cleaning while I'm decorating at the same time just because it distracts me and it takes me a long time to finish everything because by the time I'm done cleaning, I'm already tired. So I clean the home first and then the next day, that's when I decorate. Let me know in the comments down below what is your process for decorating for whatever occasion or season. Most of the fall decorations I'll be using are reused from last year and the previous year. A lot of these items came from Hobby Lobby, Target, and Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I have this glass pitcher that I put on top of the kitchen cabinet and for every season, I just change up the floral in here. I feel like this is one of the best way to bring in new season or new decor in your home if you are on a budget. If you are new here, hello and welcome. I am so happy you're here. My name is Sel. I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one sweet boy. I would really love it if you subscribe and join my YouTube family for more home decorating videos like this, realistic cleaning motivations, and tons of home organizations. I upload new video every Friday. And don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you will be notified every time my new video goes live. If you are my returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you my friend what's it like to hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh i'm thinking about him i added that pumpkin that i got from target last year on the bottom side of the picture just to bring in like more color on that bottom side i like to use traditional color when i'm decorating for fall it just gives me that real fall cozy vibe moves 
Let me know in the comments down below if you do neutral or traditional fall color. In front of the sink, I'm going to replace the faux plant with some faux fall floral plant. Oh my god, I feel like I'm doing tongue twister here. But that's what I'm doing here. I DIY this fall tree from a few years ago and I love it so much. And then I got this fall plant from Hobby Lobby. It looks very realistic, you guys. I'm going to leave the real plants on the other side just because they're real. I don't want them to die and put them somewhere else. They're very sensitive. They're succulent. Plus, it doesn't really bother me that much anyway. So I'm just going to leave it there. On this side of the kitchen, I have this mason jar that I also switch up floral for every season. This reddish orange sunflower is super cute. I got this from the dollar store a few years ago. I got this pumpkin from Hobby Lobby last year at the end of the season so I got a really good deal with this. I feel like this is one of their most popular pumpkin or one of their best seller. And then my son saw this and saw the menu that's written in front of the pumpkin and then asked me to make pumpkin pie so I think I'm going to give that a shot. Hopefully that recipe is like real recipe. <laughs> so I'll try that and then I'll let you guys know if I did try it and how it comes out. On this side of the kitchen I wanted to bring some of that fall color so I also change up the floral that I have on this picture. I wanna hold his hand cause I can't stop thinking about him and would he understand if I told him how I feel about him I got this candle from Kirkland's and it smells good when you try to smell the candle but once it's lit I can barely smell anything you guys and I'm all about strong scented candle I wanted that cozy vibe so I'm a little disappointed with this candle because I've heard good things about Kirkland's candle I don't know if I got a bad batch or what so let me know in the comments down below if you like Kirkland's candle. I feel like I got like candle from Target that's a little bit cheaper than this and smells way better and stronger. But that's just my opinion from my own experience. I decorated this tear tray here by the coffee bar the same as I did last year. I think the only thing I changed is that garland around the owl which you'll see in just a little bit. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you and you got me too.
this is the small wreath that I got for this year. I didn't have wreath on the other cabinets last year except for the one on top of the microwave. So I really like this one. It's more of traditional fall wreath color and the one that I replaced the other one on top of the microwave looks very similar to this one but a little bit bigger. That one was the one that, I, that we used to have by our front door but I'm going to be decorating Halloween for the front door so I'm not going to be using that there and I ended up moving that here just updating the pumpkin and it made it look a little more newer and ended up looking really good here and matches with the other weeds. As I'm decorating, I'm also putting away the decorations that I switched for fall in this bin so that it's organized and ready for after Christmas. And to vacuum the floor, I'm going to let this little robot do that work for me. I really love how our kitchen turned out, you guys. It really did give me that cozy fall vibes with all these fall colors that I use. And I'm really ready for fall, you guys. All I need is the weather. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of how this turned out. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah. about you. 
hard to try Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me realize that I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive, it only hurts Moving on to preparing the beef stew, I'm putting all this meat in this bowl. This is beef stew meat. It's already pre-cut. We got them from Sam's. This is about two pounds of meat and I'm going to season this with some salt and black pepper, about half a teaspoon each. And then I'm going to mix this and making sure it's all coated well because I'm going to be frying this, you guys, before I actually cook them. I'll have this recipe in my description box below if you want to check it out and try this. I'm frying two sides of the meat and each side takes about two to three minutes just until it's kind of like golden brown. I'm so tired of And while I'm waiting for the beef to brown, I'm going to dice up this one whole red onion. I always thought the love was made for me. Oh well. I was just as blue white as the sky could ever be. Loving you has made me realize. I'm so tired of love. Okay, you guys, so when I make this recipe, I normally use red potatoes or fingerlings because those are good for baking because we're going to be baking this later. But I didn't feel like going to the store and I do have some russet potatoes. So I ended up using this one, but this potato was a little bit overcooked after I was done. Some of them are actually kind of mushy and that's not what you want. So make sure you use what I write down on the recipe, which is red potatoes or fingerlings because those are the ones that's really good for stew you want to be able to bite the potatoes and not have it like mushy and overcooked like me like I said I did cut corners here I just didn't really feel like going to the store and leaving the house so I try to use what I have on hand and while I'm still frying the rest of the meat I'm going to put another pot on the other side of the stove and saute the diced onion that I chopped up earlier some minced garlic and the carrots and once that's a little bit soft I'm going to add tomato paste start to dry and even when the sun begins to shine again I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired after frying all the beef on that same pan that I used, I'm going to add 2 cups of red wine and about 16 ounces of fresh mushrooms. I did use canned mushroom here because like I said, I don't feel like going out to the store so I just use what I have on hand. And then I added 2 big leaves of bay leaves and while I wait for that to boil, I'm going to transfer the carrots and diced onion that I sauteed in this crock pot. Not going to be using the crock pot you guys, I'm going to put this in the oven but I don't have Dutch oven pot so I'm just going to use this instead because this is oven safe. I don't have lid for this to go in the oven so I'm going to put aluminum foil to cover this later at the end. Once the red wine with the mushroom starts to boil, add 4 cups of beef broth, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, 1 teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of black pepper. Add the beef back in the pot and add the potatoes and the red wine with the mushrooms. Mix it up and then cover it. I'm going to put aluminum foil like I said because I don't have cover for this. That's safe for the oven.
cook this for 425 degrees for one hour and 45 minutes if you are using dutch oven you guys i found out that mine takes a little longer i think it's because the lid wasn't really completely tight so i ended up cooking this for two hours and then i checked the meat if it's tender it's up to you how tender you want it and once it's tender if i need more time then i just add another 20 or 30 minutes and usually two hours and a half is enough for me but that's because like i said i wasn't using dutch oven but if you are it should be less than that and i know that takes long but this is something that you can prefer and then leave it in the oven for two hours and do whatever it is you needed to do you just need a little time to prefer this but once everything is in the pot you can and I just like forget about it until the oven beeps. I'm going to prepare this quick baked dinner roll so that when the beef stew is cooked, I can just pop this in the oven for about 12 to 13 minutes and our dinner will be ready. I hope you find this video inspirational and helpful. I hope you got some fall decorating ideas to use for your own home. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help support my channel and lets me know you want more videos like this. Comment down below and share this to your friend to inspire them as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you all so much for watching my friend and I will talk to you all again on my next video. Stay tuned for my fall decorating part two.